doing your dares, baby. Yeah. Now listen here, I know I haven't done this in a while, so, uh, let's see how it goes. I dare you to make a plane with a three-plot wingspan. Damn, that is creative. Well, I suppose I should start somewhere, so let's get going. Um, okay, now I just add this motor. Just a quick thing here, it felt like hours building this, even though it probably only took like 10 minutes. All right, so here's our uh, three-plot wingspan plane. Um, so if I uh, start accelerating this, you can see it can fly pretty much normally. <laughs> oh, wait, d d did I not paint that at the end? Oh, whatever. Oh, my God. Um, all right, I'm going to try and jump onto the wing. Hey, let's go. All right, overall, pretty decent build. Uh, I give it a rating of six wing panels out of ten one times seven beams. Make a plane that can fly properly with less than six parts. All right, we're going one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, uh, will it fly? Uh, no, it will not fly. Time for some sweet trial and error. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so I need to figure out what to do. Um, I'll have my main pilot seat. Okay, let's see if this works. Um, I am very doubtful. And the wings fell off. That's, that's great. Maybe if I place these two wing panels here. Come on. Come on. No! Okay, so the center of mass is much further forward than the center of lift, which is a problem. Come on, let's see some flight. Oh, okay, we're getting really, really close. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Uh, okay, so I just realized that the control panels are literally, like, uh, they're inverted. So I need to replace them. Oh my goodness, you don't know how much hassle this took. It takes just a slight amount of time for it to start pitching up when you want it to, but... Hey, we got a plane! Whoa, 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 what? Whoa, whoa. Make a plane that has wings that function like a bird. Alright, so I got no footage of uh, putting this together since I accidentally recorded on my uh, other monitor. So, um, this is what we got so far. So, uh, these wings can kind of flap up and down. Now I just need to add some um, extra functional changes and actually make this a good looking plane. Alright, so what can we do to change this? So I think first I need to add some form of thrust. Alright, I have a banger idea. We're going to make these wings right here actually control the pitch of the plane. Hello, welcome to my time lapse. I am only here to fill in the empty space. One times four, one times four, one times three, one times three. Okay, uh, that looks interesting, but whatever. Let's see how it functions. All right, good news. I got the wings working. <laughs> all right, <laughs> the building really fast. All right, already this is so much better than before. All right, that, that looks decent enough. So we can pitch up and down, but we can't necessarily turn. Oh, it's another time lapse. Hello, hello, goodbye, hello, hello, what the heck? All right, so I added my ailerons. So let's lift up and let's turn. So this is actually pretty sick. I can pitch up, pitch down, and roll. All right, and let's touch down. And we'll just flap ourselves down here. All right, pretty sick. On to the next there. Make an object that does not want to exist. Well, that seems simple enough. All I have to do is place on a main pilot seat. Two conveyors. Configure, configure, configure. Bonk, 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 bonk. Rope there, rope there, spawn. It and press W. I dare everyone to subscribe. Do it. Make a working Rubik's Cube. I have to make a what? Now? This took almost an hour, so there are gonna be a lot of time lapses here. Here's our bottom layer. Now I'm just gonna add the corners, so it's gonna be a little bit easier to look at. And of course, I called my friends for help. It starts out, uh, like, spread out like this, and then when it spawns in, the magnets, you know. <gasps> yo! 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 I, I got I got him to lock all inwards. I oh. got him to lock all inwards. Oh. So the Rubik's Cube basically works with magnets pulling every single block in the Rubik's Cube towards the center, and the specific shaping of the individual cubes on the inside help keep them together. This sounds like a pretty big stretch, but if this video gets to a thousand likes and like a hundred thousand views or something, I'll totally do a tutorial. I know that was a lot of information stuck in such a short amount of time, but we have two more dares to go, so let's do it. Anyway, let's move on. I dare you to revive the Bacon God. This task is all but simple. The hardest task of them all. Only the strongest can perform said task. Like me.
And finally, I dare you to end the video.